Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've taken a composer who's had a role to play at one or both of these organizations, and today it is the Argentine composer Astor Piazzolla, P-I-A-Z-Z-O-L-L-A. And it's fitting to honor him now because this year, 2021, marks the 100th anniversary of his birth, born in 1921, passed away in 1992. He was not only a composer, he was a bandonian player, I'll talk about that in a moment, and an arranger. You know, back in the 1800s, there were, of course, many dances that went on, and into the 1900s, you had the foxtrot and all kinds of dances for couples, but most of them were dances in which you were apart and you only came together perhaps for a handshake or something. That was not true of the tango. The tango was a traditional dance that it was both a dance and a song, and you embraced your bodies together when you danced. You've all seen the pictures of them. I was fortunate enough at a trip to Buenos Aires to be walking down the street, and suddenly at the corner I heard this music, and there, because it happens just anywhere in Buenos Aires, is a couple doing the tango with uh, an accompaniment, uh, and you just were amazed to see these two people, my great experience was that I had brought with me a picture that I had clipped out of the New York Times, and it was a picture of a couple doing the tango, and I just thought, I'll, I didn't know I was going to see a lot of tango dancers, but I'll bring it along. So I had this picture with me. I see this couple dancing. I pull out the picture and go, it's them. <laughs> so when they finished, I took the picture up and said, here is this picture, would you like it? We remember when a photographer took our picture, but we never heard anything more. I said, here it is, please take it. It was a wonderful, wonderful moment. So Piazzolla uh, invented really a new kind of tango, which, you know, there was the traditional tango, but his was called the Nuevo Tango which was a combination of the traditional, but with jazz elements and also uh, with classical elements that became part of it. And uh, it became a very, very popular, wonderful form of music, and still is. So there were tango clubs, and still are, down in Argentina. Piazzolla studied for five years with another eminent Argentine composer, Gina Stera, studying orchestration. He toured a number of times in the USA and uh, actually also went to Paris and studied for a time with, uh, with uh, Nadia Boulanger, the famous teacher of orchestration and composition. And when he went to her, he said, oh, I want to write these classical kind of style pieces, and he was showing her things, and then he said, oh, but I've also done, and he handed her a tango piece, and she looked at it and said, that is what you should be doing. That is your calling. And so it was that he did the Nuevo Tango. The orchestra for uh, a tango of his kind involved just a small group it involved a violin, a piano, a bass, a uh, cello perhaps, and this other instrument uh, called the, um, called the, the bandonian, B-A-N-D, named after Mr. Uh, Band, a man in Germany. How to explain to you the bandonian? Uh, well, in, if you think of the accordion, and you know it has keys on one side that you play, and then you have buttons that you push on the other side to give you the chords you want. Well, the bandonian is somewhat the same shape, a little smaller, kind of like an oblong box, 
The difference is you have buttons on both sides. So you have buttons on one side to give you the individual notes that you have to find. On the other side, you have your chords. And the sound of the bandonian is different than the sound of an accordion. So this bandonian is the kind of instrument. And you know, it was some years ago that here we at Vocal Essence performed music of Piazzolla. And I thought, where am I going to find a bandonian player? I found one, of course, in St. Paul, Minnesota. And this wonderful fellow came and was the accompaniment. And you needed that sound. And it was just accompanied by him and a string bass doing pizzicato with him on the bandonian. So he was a, an amazing composer. So the music I'm going to play is very much in that tango idea. He wrote a series of four tangos for the four seasons of the year. The first one I'm going to play is a little bit of his summer in Buenos Aires tango, composed in 1965. So you get the idea at the beginning, the chorus is singing. <laughs> idea of that kind of feeling. Now, with the bandonian, in another piece of his, which was his autumn in Buenos Aires, the choir begins and then after the opening part, they stop and you have a bandonian solo. So here you are at the beginning, you have, again, the tempos are that tempo because you had to be dancing the tango to this tempo. Enters. It's great music, wonderful to listen to, obviously wonderful to dance to, and that is why now in Argentina they think about Piazzolla as the great man of the Nuevo Tango. Have a wonderful day.